Hello. Can I explain relativity to you? Okay, let's try it. So, there's what's true and there's what's real. Things that are true exist in a model. They're perfect. They're sort of like those boxes, like if you have a three-dimensional coordinate system. These are three dimensions, so it's like these steel rods stick into all parts of the universe, but actually that doesn't make any sense at all because, well, we're moving actually all the time. A long time ago, Newton thought that we weren't moving. He thought that everything was perfect. There was this thing called space, so when I walk through, I know that I'm moving through space. There's this thing, and it's just there, but I'm the only thing moving. But then that just changes when maybe this thing called technology happens, and we have the train. Let's give it two cars for now. With the train, think about being in motion on the train. Think about falling asleep on the train. So if you fall asleep on the train and you can't really hear the sound, you close your eyes and you wake up and you're on the train and you look out the window and you're passing another train, do you know if you're moving or do you know if that train's moving? If you're not accelerating, you can't actually feel the motion. So who's moving and actually there's no absolute still and there's no absolute motion. If I start spinning here, is the room spinning or am I spinning? Because I think the room's spinning and I think I'm standing still. I don't know. It's all relative. 